Maista myös aito Amerikan keisari. Keisari 66. Käsin tehty aromikas pintahiiva olut. American style. Hello, this is Jari from Winter Sun. Hello, this is Kai also from Winter Sun. And you are watching Chaos TV. Hello everyone, we are here uh, at Tuska Open Air with Kai and Yari from Wintersun. So first of hello and welcome to Chaos TV. Thank you. So generally, how has the summer been so far for you guys? Oh, it's been really great. Uh, we started last week, kind of mini tour. We did Metal Fest, Halo Fest and three shows in Spain for the first time. And fans been really amazing. So you you just finished the show here at Tuska Open Air. So how was it? It's always a pleasure to play in your home country and for for people because of course you also see a lot of people from all around the world because this is international festival anyway. So felt really great to end this mini one week with in Tuska. So as you already mentioned, you, during the summer you have played in many different festivals. So which have been your favorite ones so far? I think uh, Metal Fest Lorelei was uh, pretty nice. Uh, it was like an arena stage, and uh, there was kind of stairs going down into the. Uh, you can run down the stairs, meet some fans, give high fives. So that that was pretty fun. So. You have a new album out in title of Time One, and it has generally gotten like really good reviews everywhere. So now, when you look back at the album, are there like certain things that you would like to do differently, or are you like completely satisfied with the album? I know that Yari is a perfectionist, so I want to do it all over again. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, he wants to take more six years to to <laughs> put it to put it all together. Ah, uh, you know. For me, it's uh, it's one time that you you do certain music at some peri period and then you move on. For for me, for me, it, it works and it, it sounds the way it should sound. So for, I'm actually happy. Yeah, yeah, I'm really happy now uh, that some time has passed and uh, I'm kind of listening to the album with new ears because I was really out of my mind at the end of the mixing mixing. So. Um, But of course, I, I I would like to you know do some more better guitar sounds and you know stuff like that. But uh, already on time one, there's gonna be much much better mix and better guitar sounds, better drum sounds, better bass sound. And when you when you got those meat and potatoes right, then it's much more easier to mix the orchestrations and everything will be much more clearer and more heavy. Are you talking <laughs> about time two now? Yes. Yeah, because you said time one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's still doing the first album. <laughs> In his mind, he's still doing it. <laughs> Fuck this guitar song. <laughs> so, have you guys like generally been pleased with the feedback the album has received? Yes, mostly it's been really great, and we have gotten much more new fans with the you know new style we ha have now. Of course, there are still the same elements in the music, so the old fans also love the album still. You have also toured like North America with the CD, so what has been the fans' reactions there when they have actually seen you live? Actually, it was pretty crazy. I have to say that one of the best tours I've ever done in my life. So, so I have to say that 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 really? U.S. tour was really, really good, really good and uh, impressive. How many fans we actually have in U.S. and also we, we're going back there now in in August to do a headlining tour with a couple of other bands. So that's going to be exciting how to see how it goes. Do you guys think that it's it's pretty strange that it, it took for you like many years to come up with a new album, but still like people didn't basically like forgot you? Yeah, it's pretty pretty unbelievable that fans still out there, you know, supporting us. But I don't know why is it? Can you tell? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm from I'm from Finland. I don't have any anything to say about that. <laughs> I just work here. Yeah. <laughs> I just work behind the drums every night. <laughs> yeah, I can't tell you why, but um, we are very happy about that, of course. 
So what kind of schedule do you guys have when it comes to time too? How far is actually the process for it at the moment? Are you finished with the mixing? No, it's uh, basically it's just 25% done. So I will continue after the US tour in September, October. So maybe it, in January, February it will be done and then a few months to release it. So uh, Tuska Open Air is a three-day festival and if you guys would organize a three-day festival and decide like headliner for each night, which bands would you choose to play on your own bill and why? Of course Iron Maiden, because they are the best band in the world. <laughs> Um, Judas Priest or Metallica. David Townsend was already here a couple of times, so that was a dream come true. Let's say Metallica. <laughs> so David Townsend, Metallica, and Iron Maiden would be your lineup. Yeah, maybe summoning or uh, Saxon <laughs> because they are ruling the world. <laughs> Okay. okay, so I guess that some of the bands that you started like or grew up listening to have already disbanded. So if you guys could pick like one band to do a reunion show which you would be able to see, which band would you choose and why? Bal Sagoth. Because I really love that band. I've always loved it and uh, I want to see that band make more albums. Because all of their albums are unbelievable. Uh, I would love to see uh, Queen's Rise on the Operation Mindcrime tour do because uh, one, that's one of my top five albums all time. And of course, Geoff, of course, went to his own way, and it's a, it's a new, separated thing now. Yeah. But you know, that would be one of the bands I could never see live. But most of the bands I've seen, you know, what I really love and like, so that would be one, one, one hop, top priority thing I would love to see. Okay, so thanks, guys, very much for the interview, and good luck for the future. Uh, anything you want to say as closer to your fans, you can hold the mic. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, you guys have bought the album many, many copies, and it's been unbelievable. Yeah, thank you and support the music. Thank you so much.